The sleepy mountainous town of Mundulkiri has been, for better or for worse, altered by the COVID-19 pandemic. As the number of international flights dropped, local tourists had nowhere to flock to but their own domestic tourism destinations. With its sharp spike in tourism activities, Mundulkiri province has become one of the center stages for resort investment. Yet, how did we get there? To understand, we need to go back a bit. With its sharp spike in tourism activities, with its combination of indigenous communities and mountainous landscape, with a red leftover of volcanic soil, Mundulkiri province has been a far away destination that many Cambodians, whether young or old, wish to experience at least once in their lives. With a couple of national roads and some provincial roads providing access, San Manorom City, its capital located around 380 kilometers from Phnom Penh, is not too far away from the road leading to the land of Angkor in Siem Reap province. However, the experience does not lie in the distance alone, with its elevation Deviations, twists and turns through the mountains, the almost sudden drop in atmospheric pressure as drivers ascend the mountains, the goosebumps including breeze blowing wavily across the acres of pine wood. The journey itself is anything but ordinary. And then, a small town with a small and normal size residential quarters, resting in one of the many valleys, provides Mundulkiri province its own signature look and feel. Before the pandemic kicked in, Mundulkiri received quite a constant and profitable flow of tourists, both local and international. Tourists coming through tour agencies, families, and friends frequently gathered at tourism hotspots where they relax in huts and enjoy local cuisine such as grilled chickens, domestically raised wild animals and sometimes the indigenous cooking and alcohol of the minority communities. Then, all of a sudden, this land was deprived of tourists. Lockdown, financial disruption, the deteriorating health or even the death of some family members stunned the people, preventing them from traveling for quite some time. For a while, international travelers were virtually cut off. Domestic travel spike, although it was a short bust, but through this short bust, the tendency to invest has become a trend. Over less than two years, untamed land full of thick forest and wild animals. As some locals have mentioned, along the well-paved tarmac roads of Mundulkiri province have been cleared out tens or even hundreds of meters inward to make way for people's desire to invest. Small private houses on mountain slopes and in valleys with the shape of a triangle when viewed from the front have become a popular design as this shape resembles the indigenous people's traditional living quarters. Resort signs and locals have multiplied along the roads, notifying travelers of the availability of leisure spaces. Traditionally, Mundulkiri province mainly accommodated visitors at guest houses and hotels. Today, a taste of temporary living has emerged. Yet, as international flights become available again, it still 
is to be seen whether the number of local tourists in Mondokari province will remain as high as some investors have anticipated. In short, will local tourists come in sufficient numbers to make these new properties profitable in Mondokari province when the country reopens its doors to the outside world? The simple answer is maybe. <laughs>